National Sanders, the mascot of KFC from a nearby hey, restaurant, yo. and hurled it into the river as an effigy. Hey, what? Uh, we are going to slap ham. There it is. Bear with me, since this is a... <laughs> So this is the first time showing uh, some spooky stuff. Happy, uh, happy spooky season, everyone. I love watching spooky videos, but at the same time, uh, not everything you see on the internet should be taken as real because there would always be people doing this kind of stuff for the views. But nonetheless, I always love watching creepy stuff. So, that... <laughs> Okay, we're going scariest clips of the week. Let's go. Uh, let's let's see how it goes. Oh. You're about to see some of the scariest videos floating around the internet. Let's check them out. He is such a handsome man, too. He has a great voice. Like, he has a well-shaven beard. Like, like, look at him. He looks like a sweetheart. Look at him. And he makes spooky compilation videos. You, you know, uh, fun fact, I knew of this guy from Danger Dolan, and I don't even know if Danger Dolan's doing anything anymore. <laughs> it has been so long, because I remember back when Danger Dolan actually did spooky videos, and, like, he actually got slapped hand to, uh, like, collab with him. And then, <laughs> uh, once they started changing their format, I'm like, man, this is different. I still want to see spooky videos, and I see that Slat Tan's still doing spooky videos, so I'm just like, hey, <laughs> this is the guy right here. This is him. This is the man. <laughs> this man right here, officer. <laughs> For several years now, Candace Garner has believed that her home is haunted by a mysterious presence. Oh. It all started with small, unsettling occurrences. Objects inexplicably moving from their places, orbs of light floating through the air, and an ever-present eerie sensation of being watched. These strange events became so oh. frequent and disturbing that Candace decided to take matters into her own hands by setting up cameras around her house in hopes of capturing evidence of the paranormal. Well, this ghost likes throwing shit. In one clip taken during the day, her wise home security system catches some eerie movement. Okay, okay. That's that's a little spooky. It's just that doors open all the time. That's like a in another piece of footage, orbs of light, often considered by some as spiritual or supernatural phenomena, can be seen drifting through okay, the Okay, wait, house. hold on, hold on. Little bit of advice here. I know of the paranormal orbs. The thing is, when there's a ton of them going in the same direction like that, it's dirt. If it's just like one doing a weird pattern, that's a more of like a... 50 50 where it's either going to be a like something paranormal or maybe a, a bug but you get better results if it's just like a single or maybe two orbs like going around in different locations but when they're just going up just like that then uh no it's i'm sorry fam it's dirt oh damn they love throwing shit Watching that again in slow motion, a knife suddenly flies through Shit, the Shit, I'd be pissed too! If a ghost just like threw a knife at me? TikTok hey, user Fran okay. Devil is convinced his home is haunted, and he's not alone in that belief. Unfold in the oh bathroom. god, 3 a.m. Gone wrong, gone sexual. Uh. Hello? Hello, sir? Ooh, nothing's there. A mysterious figure can be seen standing in the distance. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. The encounter left him deeply unsettled, and his followers were equally spooked by the chilling footage. 
Let's watch the incident unfold, knowing that something's deeply wrong inside of this house. Paranormal activity! One of the most unsettling moments comes from a camera placed in Fran Devil's bedroom. In the darkness, the camera catches something eerie lurking in the shadows. Is, is that... Okay, that, that is what I'm looking at. It's the face. It's the same person that was outside! Ooh! It's always hard to tell with the internet, but... It's, it's always interesting to watch. You, and it always leaves you wondering, is this real? Is this fake? You always got to have that open mindset. Not, not have it to where like, oh, like, it's completely real. Some of it does seem like very genuine, but eh, I don't know. <laughs> so, hello. We've come to talk to you about your car's extended warranty. <laughs> God damn it. The Crescent Hotel in Eureka Springs, Arkansas is no stranger to tales of the supernatural. Okay. Built Very nice place. America's most haunted hotel, it's long been a magnet for ghost hunters, thrill seekers, and curious tourists. Among them was TikToker and mum of two, amusing Angelina, who decided to spend a night in the infamous hotel to see if the ghostly rumors were true. Okay. During her stay, while sitting on the balcony of her room at 6am enjoying her morning coffee, Angelina begins to hear something strange. I... Wait, a ghost started singing to me when I was sitting on my balcony of the Crescent Hotel. Okay. It sounds okay. eerily like someone singing. Yeah, there's no one else around. I don't, know. I don't know why I love her faces. Many believing the spirits of those who died there still linger within the hotel's walls. Uh, okay, so... If I was actually in that situation, I would be, like... That, that does seem hella scary. Like, if you just... Like, if you're just alone and you start hearing, like, random noises, especially if, it's, if you hear someone singing, and you know for a fact that there's no one around, that is actually really creepy. It almost reminds me of that one situation of that one guy that uh, he, it, it was something about like he was hearing a whistling when he was younger and something about like his mom being afraid of that. And so like, and when he got older during the 4th of July, uh, he like, he was sitting along a lake and he heard the whistling again, which like was hella creepy for him. So like that story I think is really cool and really cre uh, creepy. And like this situation too, I, I think it's really cool and really creepy. One of the most famous ghost stories associated with the Crescent Hotel involves room 218, where an Irish stonemason named Michael supposedly fell to his death during construction. Guests who stay in this room often report seeing hands coming out of the bathroom mirror, hearing the cries of a falling man, and experiencing doors that open and slam shut all on their own. Okay, is it weird that I honestly want to go to a haunted place? Like, specifically maybe like a haunted hotel. I would actually really like going to someplace really haunted and like getting some experiences for myself just because like I've rarely gone to any like haunted places in the world you know i think i've only been on like the queen mary and that was like for a, a ghost tour but like i would like to go by myself or maybe with like one other person and experience that like see if we get anything like paranormal happening because that would be really cool i would love that guests have also captured strange photos during their stays at the crescent hotel one such image shows oh, whoa. There to be a transparent face on a wall Hey, yo! Okay! While another photo reveals uh, a woman in a nightgown standing at the end of a hallway. Okay, uh, That's a little iffy. That's a little iffy. This next eerie clip comes from the YouTube channel Scarefix. Haunted Playground. It's left viewers thoroughly spooked. The original source of the footage remains a mystery, but what it shows is enough to send shivers down your spine. Okay. The clip begins with a man taking a late night stroll through his neighborhood when he suddenly spots something unsettling happening at the local playground. Oh, I'm ready to get scared. Okay, see with all of those 
like doing that at the same time, I could I could see the like that would be hella creepy. Like people would say, oh, it's the wind, but like really though, would it be the wind? I don't know. <laughs> Post in the comments. Tell me what you think. <laughs> hey yo! There's no one else around. Go skidding his gains. <laughs> Playground is deserted, yet the equipment seems to be in full swing, as if invisible children are at play. Yeah, invisible children over there, and then an invisible bodybuilder right there. He or she is getting their gains right now. <laughs> ah, this is a lovely sight, watching all the ghost people just having fun and working out. Sticking with the eerie playground sightings, this next spine-chilling clip was uploaded by TikTok user Destination. Two for two, baby. And it's left viewers scratching their heads. The video begins with a homeowner noticing something odd in the park opposite their apartment. Ah. Okay. One of the swings is moving back and forth, seemingly all by itself. See, now that couldn't be the wind either. Like, if it's just a singular one moving, that can't be the wind. The swing's unsettling motion catches the attention of a woman no. passing by. No! Don't get closer, lady! What's wrong with you? The swing begins moving again, almost as if it has a mind of its own. That is typical horror movie stuff. Don't go to the moving. Moments later, <laughs> another passerby, a jogger this time, sees the swing in motion once again. Why is everyone going to it? Clearly spooked, he flees. Hey, yo, what behind him? <laughs> oh, that poor dude. The video has sparked a flurry of comments and theories. Some viewers speculate that it could just be a cleverly staged prank. I was gonna say! I believe there might be something more supernatural at play. The repeated, unexplained See, I, I was going to say, it could possibly be a prank. And like, if so, that is a very good prank. Like, it's it got two people. Like, two very oddly curious people actually like going to stop the swing for some reason. Like, I would just walk a little closer to it, but I wouldn't want to touch that thing. Because if it was an actual ghost, I'm like, no, nah, I don't want that thing to get attached to me. <laughs> Screw that. Swing has led many to wonder if this could be evidence of a ghostly presence in the old playground. So is this just a well-executed hoax, or could there be something more unsettling behind the mysterious swing? Love to hear your thoughts on this one in the comments down below. Oh, that is great. I love that so much. That is, oh, and then, wait, the seesaw. Barf! <laughs> Ooh, ghost children! The Colonel out. Sanders! <laughs> I, why was Colonel Sanders there? In the world of sports, few tales are as bizarre oh, the, and enduring as the Curse of the, the Colonel's Colonel, Curse? A legend that haunted Japan's Hanshin Tigers baseball team for nearly four decades. This peculiar urban legend began in 1985 and only found its resolution in 2023, when the Tigers finally broke free from the grip of superstition to claim their first championship in over 38 oh, years. Oh, good for them! The story begins with the Hanshin Tigers' unexpected victory in the 1985 Japan Series, a triumph largely credited to their star American player Randy Ooh. Bass. Fans of the underdog Tigers were euphoric and a massive celebration ensued in the Kansai region, particularly in Osaka. The most raucous of these celebrations took place at Ibisu Bridge in Dotombori, where elated fans leapt into the canal to honour each player's name. But when it came time to celebrate Bass, who was distinctly American with a beard, a fan seized a plastic statue of Colonel Sanders, oh. the mascot of KFC from a nearby hey, restaurant. Yo and hurled it into the river as an effigy. It what? What seemed like a harmless act of revelry would soon take on a darker significance. According to the urban legend, the spirit of Colonel Sanders, angered by the disrespect <laughs> shown to his likeness, cursed the Hunchin Tigers. No way! The curse was simple. The Tigers would not win another championship until the Colonel's statue was recovered from the river. The curse seemed all too real as the Tigers embarked on an 18-year streak of dismal performances, often finishing last or next to last in the Damn. world. 
despite several attempts to locate and retrieve the colonel's statue from the murky waters of Dotombori, including diving expeditions and dredging operations, the statue remained elusive and the curse persisted. However, the joy was short-lived as they lost the Japan series to the Fukuoka Die Hawks. <laughs> the ghost of Colonel Sanders be like, your team is going to be finger-licking depressing. <laughs> The celebratory <laughs> atmosphere in Osaka turned tragic when a young man, Masaya Shitababa, drowned in the canal during the post-game festivities. A stark reminder of the curse's ominous presence. All this, all, no, all this because they didn't want to, like, sing praises to an American baseball player in Japan. That is so crazy how that happens. And it looks like they pulled him out. They pulled out the colonel! Kindled in March of 2009 when divers unexpectedly discovered the long lost statue of Colonel there he is! in the Dotombori River. The statue was retrieved in pieces with its upper body, right hand and lower body recovered. Although the statue was missing its glasses and left hand, fans saw this as a sign that the curse might finally be Hallelujah! <laughs> The statue was restored with new glasses and a replacement hand and returned to KFC Japan. Where's my other hand? A cardboard cutout replica of the statue was even placed in a branch near Koshien Stadium during the Tigers playoff run in 2023. No way! After nearly four decades of waiting, the Hanshin Tigers broke the curse in 2023 by winning Game 7 of the Japan Series. The victory ended the Tigers' 38-year championship drought and fans once again gathered in Dotombori to celebrate, this time throwing a fan cosplaying as Colonel Sanders into the river as a nod to the curse's Damn. origins. The curse yeah, may now wait. be broken, its story will continue to be told for generations as a testament to the power of belief and the unpredictable nature of sports. Yeah, wait, wait, it, isn't that like an actual thing, like with football? That there was like a whole like mystery around it called the the Madden curse or something like that, where like whoever is in or whoever like foot whichever like football player is on the like the cover of this year like of the current year's Madden game Madden NFL game like their team like gets bad luck for some reason. I know it's I, I know it hasn't done that all the time, but it's happened a couple times, which is kind of creepy. But <laughs> the ghost of the colonel, he strikes his finger licking wrath onto the Japanese uh, baseball team. But that is so weird that they even get a dude that's dressed up like the colonel and throw him in the river. Like, <laughs> have you not learned? I mean, I know it's not a statue of the colonel, but still. But thank you so much for watching. Well, well thank yeah. you, Slapped Ham. I always love watching your spooky videos. Uh, whoever is watching, yes, please go check them out. Uh, go check Slap Hand out. Like, him and his team are great. They're hella great. But happy spooky season, everyone.